like it's the whole thing, like I said, like it's pushing on the tissue, like the herbs push on the tissue. And when you do this, every time you exhale, yeah, you want to push on the tissue, massage the intestines, push on your liver and gallbladder and pancreas, and you you push them all up into the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas a little bit. But it's you want to be gentle, right? And then, but still, it's like a massage every time on every exhale, because when you suck in from the diaphragmatic breathing, you want to get to like the edge of this, to where like it's right there in your perineum, to where it's like you're right there sitting perfectly. You know, I, want to, I guess tailbone right there to where you see, I guess where I'm at, just the edge of it. You're kind of at the edge of the chair. So you just... So and, you and you're sitting up straight too, right? You get the posture straight to where you get the arch in your small in your back. And then you can uh, have the pressure from from your bottom and, you know, keep the good pressure here. And then you can have a good pressure in the roof of your mouth with your tongue. Tongue, okay, so when you gotcha. Inhale, yeah, because you're inhaling and you expand the belly on the inhale, like... That's, on your inhales, the inhale should be more like this or bigger. You're pushing the belly out as far as possible to get the lower lungs as much air as possible so that, because that's where all the blood is, you know, from supposed gravity or whatever. The blood is at the bottom of the lungs right now because, you know, it's, it's just sinking to the bottom of the lungs. So if you don't expand the, the diaphragm, then the lower lungs never expand and then all that blood doesn't get oxygenated or doesn't get enriched with air like it would. To uh-huh. circulate through the system, to feed the muscles, to feed the brain, to feed everything, and the blood is what circulates the minerals. Which, you know, so you have to have the. Bl- this is basically attaching the light in the air, or the prana, or whatever you know you want to call this energy or chi, to the breath, so you can attach it to the the blood, so that the blood can en- be enriched enough to where it, you know the body is healing fast and doing all its processes faster. So. It's all about the rhythm of the, of the breathing, and that that controls the heart rate. Slower heart rate, you live longer. It's just longevity. So this is going into the parasympathetic nervous system where all the healing takes place. And so if you go to this point every day at least at some point, it's like a reset button. You're going back into that reset. So it's just you're pushing every time on the on the uh, exhale. So on your exhales, it'll be like this. So this is this is one breath. This is one single diaphragmatic breath. It'll be like. That's one breath. That's one, right? That's just one breath. And then you want you, you you massage it while you. That's the exhale. So the inhale. The is, exhale, right? The inhale is like this. Yeah. And you have that since you're sitting at the edge of the, the the seat, the pressure you can create. There's a pressure there from like the sphincter and like your urethra. You can apply that pressure, and then so you're inhaling, you're filling the lungs, and the, you're expanding the diaphragm so you can fill the lungs fully with breath. So or spirit, same thing. So you're filling it fully with that light. I mean, again, same thing. To where you can lock it in, though, with this pressure here. And then you lock with the top of your mouth. And then if you keep the jaw, like, slightly down, not all the way like a boxer or nothing like that, but just just enough. And then it's easier to push your tongue into the roof of your mouth. So then you have this lock here on the inhale. So, the, the, so we inhaled already. And then you got this top part locked. And then you got this part, this pressure here. So you, this is your ground. This is your root. So okay. It's locking the, the breath, the spirit in. So you bring the spirit in, you lock it here, and then you lock it at the top. So then it's getting, then it gets fully metabolized. Or you cycle it, however people want to look at it, whatever. So then the breath is, full, that pressure, when you put, you feel, you'll feel it. You'll feel like the pressure, when at the body metabolizing the breath, getting everything out of that air. It's going into the blood. The back of your, back here where the, uh, lungs are where the blood really is all back here because your lungs are like your wings back here so like when you fill them up or whatever and you keep doing that and the circulation gets better and better 
then all this just gets hot. This all just starts to heat up because you're taking in all that light and your circulation getting better. So then that's when you know you're doing it right. That's when you know you you creating a pressure to where you lock it. So then when you have that pressure, you you locking the breath in. You're gonna be burping. You're probably gonna be farting. You you have different head changes. You might feel totally, uh, you know, blind at different points because the pressure in your body is changing and the pressure in the entire universe is changing as a result. You might see some stars and shit. Yeah, all that's happening. Exactly. <laughs> you're, you're shifting the entire game board, your perspective. Some people like, might even get dizzy, right? Everything. People, some yeah. people fall over, all types of things. That's why, like, you know, you want to start in a comfortable place. But just, you know, gradually, you'll, you'll find your center. And that's what it's about. That's why you got to push on the tissue and then you get that center. You, you can... This is like the perfect spot for me, though. This right is perfect because it's flat. All couches sink and shit. All right. You know what I mean? Since this is flat, you know, a couch or a bed or whatever, I don't really like them. I like hard surfaces, like, where I can keep that. that so what's the routine on that, on the breath, now that you explained 18, it? I do 18 breaths with sound. Oh, those? The one you just showed me? Just the one? I, that's just one. Just, so yeah, just do just, 18 of those. So just, yeah, just one. Just push it out. Lock. Yeah. I mean, push it out. Lock. You, you lock here, lock there, whatever. The pressure, you keeping the pressure there. And for the mudras, I like intuition. So I keep my shit like this for my intuition because uh, that's just me. You can pick a different mudra. I keep my hands like this for, for the energy. That's how, that's just my comfortable. I Maybe because I'm a cancer. I don't know. But like, I feel like, so you lock it in. And then when you exhale, so this is your inhale. Then you exhale. Then you do a vacuum suck. suck yeah. yeah, you suck it in. And when you get it sucked in like that, then... You can push on the tissue. Down, downwards? And, and you can just, however you want to play with it, you'll feel it in your body where like, you know, your body will tell you like, well, it's something lodged in here or whatever, or this is dehydrated, this area or whatever. All right. So like, I feel like it's all like, I, for me, I always push down. Like, I const I'm constantly going like this and then like rubbing my kidneys too. Because when I suck this in, like, <sighs> my kidneys become apparent when all the pressure is right with the other organs. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. my kidney, the location, I can feel where everything is. You know what I mean? I can feel my adrenals when the pressure's right. All right. But when you're loose and you got pockets of air and stuff, you don't feel the way you should. So then, like, you just numb. You just don't feel like you don't, you don't feel the way you should in all ways. You don't feel what might be going on in that area. You don't think the same. You don't literally feel the same. Like, your well being is different. But when the pressure is right and the spine is right, then the organs set in their alignment and they're not swelling, then they harmonize and then you just harmonize with life. And then you observe life and shit instead of like forcing it. And like it just that's that's where the breath takes you to. Okay. To that state of no need. And that's why I feel like, yeah, I do eighteen of them, but I do them with sounds. So on my exhales I'd be like, ah, uh, you so e sun some Psalm is like kind of like similar to people's own. Okay. But um, they have the S in front of it. So then I just 18 sound breaths. Then I'll do 10 like like full breaths still, balanced breaths. So it'll still be like diaphragmatic breaths. Like, this is a Taoist Chinese medicine breaths where you hit. I'm doing like liver and pancreas and lungs a lot. So I'm doing a lot of shh and s for because you'll feel it. The, as the things get in, in alignment and you get fine tuned and you're doing the small adjustments, because you know after you get into deeper levels, you're getting past vegan and past all that stuff. Now it's the fine tuning. The small adjustments are huge now. You know what I mean? You get breatharian or whatever. That, then it's the smallest changes make the all make all the changes. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's really the it's just really the minor adjustments and things. So when you vibrate a sound. Like within the body, whether it's uh, and there's clearance here where there's no gunk in here, you really feel it on the root. Yeah, you know what I mean. You, if you say so, you feel it in your solar plexus. If you say e, you feel it in your thymus and then thyroid, parathyroid, all in here in the ether chakra. Like you feel it more. So the vibration is there to push on the tissue. It's, a, okay. it's another form of medicine, just like the herbs, just like the massage. It's just to push on the tissue, then the tissue pushes back. That releases the toxins. And then everything fall, goes back into its alignment, and creation is alignment. So then you just in harmony, and then you don't you just be an immortal being. But I'm just saying, like, so I do like ten, you know, ten, uh, shh, ten shh, with the quick breaths with these, like, shh, 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 but they be complete though. So it's like. So 
10 of each sound. And then I'll do 10 in my mouth and out of my mouth. So it'll be like. And then 10 in my nose and out my nose. Like. And I'm, I'm doing these are heavier breaths than I would like to do. Because I really want them to be more like slower, more graceful, gentle. That's the idea. Okay. That's, that's the Tao. That's limitless. That's what you can stay doing the breath for all day. The do you heart. do uh the more you rush doing it, the more you're not gonna wanna do it. Do you ever do like just one nostril and then switch yeah, to what, the other that's nostril? My, we're going through the obstacle course now. I need this video. <laughs> I need this video, yeah. All right. So yeah, like, <laughs> like so um after I after I do in my in my uh in my mouth, out my mouth, in my nose, out my nose, I do in my nose, out my mouth, ten complete breaths. So So then you feel your whole body having to breathe because you the whole body supports the action. So then I do that and then I go to in my nose and out my mouth at the same time. So 10 of those. So 10 of them. And then from there, that's the end of like my heavy sound breathing. That should change my heart rate to where I'm relaxing now, to where I'm going into just nostril breaths like what you were saying, pranayama, stuff like that. Okay. So then I do 10 in my nose, out my nose, as slow as, to slow it down, as slow as I can, but still not holding up. Just right. So 10, like more relaxed, in my nose, out my nose, then 10 in my nose, out my mouth. So then I'm relaxed for the pranayama, and my nostrils is clear for it. So I can, you know I mean? The mucus is all in a balanced place. It's not like all over the place or stuck in them. So then, because um, the mucous membrane is cool, it's just that you don't want to play with it and then produce all that extra mucus in the place. Mucous membrane is here to protect you. Okay. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, I feel like that clears it. Them slower nostril breaths clears the nostrils for me. So then um, I'll put the pressure on the one gently and then in my nose, out my nose, just for these. Depending on how I'm feeling, the slower it is, the better. So if the slower it is, it'll be. You get the gist, though. You know what I'm saying? That's how I would do it as far as the pranayama. The slower, the better. Because then you really get in touch with your core. Because, like, them gentle pushes on the tissue as you expand it. If you expand the diaphragm slowly with the breath, then it's like a gradual push. And then, like, it's not as violent, I feel like. And then it, it really resets the organs. Like, it's a more it's a better massage than if somebody just, like, you know, somebody just rubs you wrong. Yeah. So, like, I feel like the pranayama doing it slow is better. All of them. It's slower is better. But sometimes, I, I feel like since we live in a hectic world, it's nice to get the shallow breaths in just to catch up, just to get the spirit in quick. And then you can see the contrast between sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic. When the heart rate is up, you're taking 18 or more breaths per minute. And you can see the differences like, oh, this is when I'm really being a beast. My thoughts are here. My emotions are here. All because of my breath. Every activity that I'm in is the breath from a different angle. It's the, it's the breath from a different pressure. Every every activity. It doesn't mean it really is. So it's, once you get to, through the pranayamas, then I go through, because I do in the nose, out the nose, then I do in the nose, out the mouth. So the...
So that's you still lock your tongue huh? when you're doing that with the with the yeah, nostrils once, too, right? Once I inhale, once I inhale on anything, that's uh, when you put the tongue up. Yeah, the tongue against the roof of the mouth. So okay. when any, on any inhale, I lock it and lock it here. Always on the slower inhales. On the faster ones, I'm just trying to keep it even. Breath. And on the exhales, you let go of the tongue of the. Yeah, on the exhale, you just just gradually release the lock release. and then let, let the air just go through you. So then. <clears> okay. Um, cool. Yeah. So then, so it's ten in the nose, out the nose. 10 in the nose, out the mouth, each single nostril, and then you switch sides to the other side, in the right nostril, and out the nostril, and then in the nostril, out the mouth. So then, after I'm done with that pranayama, which takes about 15 minutes itself, because usually this session takes about 40 minutes where I'm at now, the obstacle course. So like, I'd be about 15 minutes to get through the nostril sessions, usually for me, you know what I mean? That's for my lifestyle right now. Then I do, 10 in my nose, out my nose, fast. Then 10 in my nose, out my nose, out my mouth, fast. Cause I do pranayama, the fastest nostril breaths I can do, like just to work the heart rate back up. And then I go right into like 25 silent breaths. No sound, I'm trying to create no sound. So I want no sound on the inhale, no sound on the exhale, as gentle as possible in the expansion. And then, and then uh, the contraction, the total, like total quiet and sound closer to that because the stillness causes all movement. The silence causes all sound. So I'm trying to get back to that. That's the perfect harmony. I mean, really silence and move. I mean, noise and movement are versions of stillness. Stillness is the truth. Everything else is a version. So getting back to that stillness, the breath is what takes you there. So like it, the more gentle you are in the expansion of the diaphragm, and then the, the less heavy the breath is, then you can, everything changes. Then you're less heavy in every way in life. Everything's, the emotions are less heavy, then you're just more lighthearted. And then you want, then like the Egyptians say, your heart is lighter than a feather. You can traverse the gates of heaven, yep. all the chambers of heaven. So you just get lighter and lighter. But the heavy is the root of the light. It's not to neglect the depths or the emotions or the darkness of the pit of the ocean. You have to, the only way to do that is to, um, you know, to really go through every chamber, to really touch, you know what I mean? To, to really get the spirit down here to cycle it. And you have to open that channel up to go to the depths and bring it back up and keep doing that. And then it's a responsibility. Then the temptation builds, but then more with temptation, more light. Then you feed more off the light and the light sheds light on your path, which is the reflection of you. And, and it helps you detached from, from, from a lot of... Yeah, from, from attachment, attachment, yeah. Not from life. Cause it's just immense, I was going to say emotions. It's immense oneness with emotions. The emotions are extremely... Like, once you get more sensitive, the more, like, the emotions are just like, I can't neglect these, these. Like, you know, it's just so powerful. But there's no, like, hate or love or holding on to them. Like, you just have to let them flow through. And the breath is what lets it flow through. If you're not breathing and you hold on to the emotions and your breath gets shallow and then you do shallow things and that keeps the emotions in... And that, you know, it keeps that, it keeps that, uh, that shame in, you know, it keeps, you know, it keeps you in a place and then you just stay eating your own tail kind of, and your posture changes and your alignment changes and then what you receive changes and then what you can give changes and all that type of stuff. So then your life is that would manifest as far as your alignment. And so, yeah, it, it, this brings you all back in alignment, get back here with the breath, you know what I mean? Closing your eyes getting into the darkness to where you can see that internal light and you really start seeing it and you really like it's no one it doesn't matter what other people say or you know I mean because you have the internal light it, use your own light to return to this source of light and shit so it's like once you've lit that match or you remember that that shit's always on there's no way to put it out then it's over but the breath is the way to like always rekindle that or keep that like going and yeah Breath is everything. Yeah, that's why they call us Luciferians, though, because we light bearers. But it's not like, you know what I mean? <laughs> or for me, I mean, at least for the, for the people that, you know what I mean? I, I be getting attacked on the net. You know how it is. I see it. He's a, he's a, he's a it. Masonic something, something. <laughs> Freemason, Luciferian. I'm like, oh, man. I just like to breathe, really. And play ball. No doubt. And make music and make hits with De Leon, you know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> We're about to do this. All right, so I'm... The that, end? That's my yeah, that's my session. That's my typical session. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna give y'all the, the, the everything.
because I got some things I got to keep between me to keep, so I keep getting better. But that's it. That's, that's a, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's All right. a lot. You, you heard it here, folks. <laughs>